Hello, Hi. welcome back to our channel. <laughs> We're doing a Ray Dunn addiction tag. Hey, Sunshines, welcome back to the channel. And like the hubby said, we're going to do a Ray Dunn addiction tag with the hubby. This video was a tag from Miss Castillo. Thank you, girl, so much for tagging us in this video. We was honored to do it. So, yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the video. So, I will be asking my husband a total of eight questions, and he has to answer honestly and respectfully because you know he can be a little mean <laughs> so yeah let's go ahead and get into question number one do you like or dislike that your wife collects ray dunn uh, a little both a little both because i kind of like him but you like it yeah, you admit it. You a like little, it. A little bit, yeah. Oh. It's different. He likes it. But uh, I don't like how to go get it every week. <laughs> About three, four times a week. I mean, a true donor has to go out and get that done. You're going to miss out on a lot of the items, the non-basic things, if you don't actually hunt for it. It's fine, but I hunt these two times a week. You can have the rest of it. <laughs> Two times. Okay, ladies. I think that's fair. Two times a week. You will hunt for me or with me two times a week or whatever. But, but I'm glad you like it. So that's a good thing. Okay, question number two. Do you like Ray Dunn pottery yourself? If so, what is your favorite piece? Like he said in question number one, he do like it. So what is your favorite piece? Uh, the bow. Your your bow. Your doll bow? Yeah, the doll bow. <laughs> I knew he was gonna say that. He has a collection. Well it's not even a collection. He only has two dog bows. And it's the um Devar with the blue inside and eat up with nothing no color inside. So he liked those two dog bows. He used it. Yeah, you know, you know what I'm saying? You don't have to have a uh, cake mixing bowl, put all your cereal in or <laughs> Spaghetti. Cake mixing bowl. You talking about the mixing bowl? Yeah, the big, you know, bowl you mix your cake butter. Yeah. All that stuff, salad, all that stuff. <laughs> okay, question number three. Do you think you know what your wife's top three Ray Dunn pieces are? Ooh. Top? Yes. My top three Ray Dunn pieces. Mm, I, I don't guess. know if it's my favorite or just my top three. I'm assuming my top three favorites. Uh, I know the coffee kids. Mm -hmm. I know that for a fact. Uh, hmm. A bug, but I don't know what to say. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. The coffee cans there. Uh, uh, the teapot. My new teapot. Okay. Yeah, I definitely love my coffee canister that I just got from my Dunn doll. Um, I love all my mugs, so we're just going to say all the mugs consist as one. And my newfound teapot from a friend and subscriber. So, yeah. Question number four. Do you think your wife will ever stop collecting Ray Dunn? <laughs> uh, I don't know. Hmm? It depends. If you get, I don't know. If I get what? Oh, it's, it's something else coming on. <laughs> okay. a, a different phase, I guess. So you saying um, I changed my mind? Oh, yeah, change the mind. I mean, once you get uh, to the point, you got enough and. <laughs> Like people nowadays, they selling the old old stuff they got to get the new collection. So it depends on what she do next. Yeah, I, I, I agree with you on that. I agree with you on that. Okay. Question number five: Do you hate when you go hunting with your wife? Explain. Do I hate when I go hunting with the wife? 
No, because stores have other things in there that I like. So, first thing we do is go over it. After that, I go off. <laughs> I find shoes, other stuff we need to have. So. Yeah, he leaves me. He'll, right. he'll help me hunt first. And if we either look up or don't look up, then he'll venture off on his own. You know, go to the men's department and stuff like that. It's so, a, it'd be all right, you know, as long as, you know, all the other women don't try to rub me over. I wish a bitch would. <laughs> That'll be the day all them stores be shut down. <laughs> no, I don't promote violence, but. She tried to use me to intimidate them women to see that ain't right. That old big old black man. <laughs> But no, all, all jokes aside, I don't promote violence, but yeah, if one should ever get out of line with the hubby, you got mama to deal with. So remember this face. You got me to deal with. Let's keep it cute. <laughs> okay, question number six. You just said this. How do you feel about the ladies and hunters that clear the shelves? It's a little disgusting. Mm. You know, it's, it's a little cliche. It's, it's, it, I mean, <clears throat> you got to take everything out of the shelf. I mean, one or two, probably. But, I mean, I see some people getting it for other people that don't have time to go out and get it or they just to have it in their area. But they clear the whole shelf off and then go and sell it. Uh, mm. It's disgusting, man. Yeah, it's, it's ridiculous. I mean, you can make five, you know, a couple of bucks off of it. Just because you got, you know, too many or you want to get something else, you don't be, you know, some people that do get two bugs. I don't understand that. It's two people in the house, you want two of the same bug. But to take it and sell it for three times the price you buying it for, this is ridiculous. Yeah, that's, that's pretty disgusting. Okay. Question number seven. When do you think is the best time to go hunting for Ray Dunn? Openings. Or midday. Both. Yeah. That's definitely true. Because openings, you tend to kind of like get the first pick. Yeah. You know, with all the items on the the, sh um, the tank. But if it was the choose, it would be the open. Opening, yeah. But you don't like getting up early in the morning. No, because I get out work in the morning. I mean, I know. Do but you do it for the done. Do it for the done. I do it for the wife. Do it for the done. Hey, <laughs> do it for the done. Hey. <laughs> so he said opening. And I agree. I think that if you go to opening, your chances of finding either a new release or just an item you've been having on your eyes. Oh, Liz, openings is always good, but sometimes you have to deal with the, the mean girls, per se. But you have a better chance at getting those items um, from off the tank versus actually being on the shelf. But both to me is good morning and midday because sometimes I've heard um, they don't put things out all in the morning. They'll put it out throughout the day to try to keep the, the fuss down. But yeah. <laughs> Whenever I see a Marshall TJ Maxx or Home Goods is in my distance, if I'm either running an errand or whatever we're doing, we'll pop in. It don't really have to be a particular day, so. Okay, last and final question, number eight. How much do you think your wife has spent on Ray Dunn Pottery and estimate? Too damn much. <laughs> Too No, it's hard to keep track of all that. Well, I do have a little cute Ray Dunn pouch that says pouch. And I keep all my receipts for inventory purposes as well as insurance. Because if I have never told you guys before, I do have insurance on my Ray Dunn. It is an investment. And I feel that I have spent a couple of extra dollars. <laughs> you got to give me a number. How much you think I've spent? Well, you spent. Or me. Well, you buy most <laughs> of it. Combine. <laughs> it's a combined finance um. investment. 
my keep my all that stuff that's in my um coffee bar in my hutch in the kitchen on the counter just give a number an honest number Four hundred. You must don't see all this crap. It's not crap. Watch your mouth, girl. Four hundred. I'm doing good. Then you think it's four hundred? I got a designer bag that's just four hundred. So I'm doing good. If you think it's four hundred. If that's your number, stick with it. No, we'll roll you know, with it. You gonna get stuff on the door about something. So we can keep it track. Lies. Right Why you lying? Hey, I come home with you have other stuff. I'll be like, where did it come from? So <laughs> I don't know. He say 400. I'll say every bit of. I'll say oh, 600. 800. Anyway. <laughs> You need to get something off your chest? Oh, I'm good. I'm good. I hope this video didn't get you in your feelings because of all your money is going into pottery. Yeah. It's an investment. It's not going into pottery, it's going into duds. That's what it's going to. Or oh, even change, it's no swindle. Oh, how cute, dud rich. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> All right, sunshine. There you have it. That is my Ray Dunn um, collection. What my collection? Addiction tag. I didn't really know how to come out with a mug with my name on it. I know. We was looking for a yeah. Charles mug. If you guys have ever seen a Charles mug, Charles mug, leave a comment down below. Because I've never seen one. I mean, you've seen all the Jane, Ricky, Bobby. <laughs> Tony and Mike. <laughs> well, I'm just kidding. But yeah, I'm I'm looking for a um a Charles mug. He, that would be cute. Because right now he have his own mugs, but it's not a lot. It's like the King, Papa, Papa Bear, Beast. Beast um And I think that's it. And he have his other non-radar mugs like, you know, Black Panther, Spider-Man, and all the Avengers and all that other stuff. But yeah, Sunshine, like I said, thank you so much for watching this video. I enjoyed it. It was a lot of fun. And thank you, Mrs. Castillo, for tagging us. This was a pleasure to join in on the fun. So if you would like to join in on this tag, please consider doing so. I will leave Miss Castillo's channel down below so you guys can go check out her and her husband's video. Without any more questions, we would like to say thank you for watching again, and until next time, mwah! <laughs>